Hello and welcome to Beyond Games, the YouTube channel all about what's next. I'm John Jordan. So the news we're looking at today is business news. It's about M&A, mergers and acquisitions. Um, but it shows a kind of trend why, why companies who aren't into games like games and, like, and, and are buying games companies, why games companies are so valuable at the moment. So uh, ByteDance is, is really well known. It's the company, uh, Chinese company. It's behind TikTok, uh, which is the Western version of its video sharing app. There's another version in China. Uh, obviously, it had a massive year in 2020 for ByteDance and TikTok. Uh, lots more people using it. Uh, everyone was, you know, kind of uh, just using online uh, platforms much more. ByteDance, it's estimated, did about $27 billion of revenue last year. That's all ad revenue. So um, TikTok stuff is, is, all, is all driven by advertising. Um, but ByteDance has been trying to get into games, mobile games in particular, for a while. And now it has done a big acquisition. So it's bought a company, another Chinese company called Moonton Interactive. Uh, that's based out of Shanghai. And it's bought that company, uh, Reuters uh, says at least, for about $4 billion. So that's a pretty large sum of money. Um, not large compared to uh, you know, ByteDance as, as a company that does about $27 billion of revenue a year. Um, so it's not big from that point of view, but it is a fairly large acquisition. There's not many games companies uh, that, are, that are worth that amount of money. Um, so why does ByteDance, which has had a brilliant 2020, why does it care about games? Well, one of the things is that uh, t TikTok and um, the, the, uh, the Chinese version of TikTok is called uh, Douyin. Um, they make their money from adverts and adverts are kind of driven by the amount of people just viewing them. But they're sort of indirect um, uh, monetization. That's what we would call it. Uh, whereas games can have ads in them, but they're much more driven by direct monetization. So in this case, um, Moonton here uh, was, was founded by uh, someone from Tencent. Tencent is, is the biggest uh, internet company in China, biggest games company, one of the biggest games company in the world, really. Um, and it created this game called Mobile Legends uh, Bang Bang. That's, a, that's the name of it. Um, and it is a MOBA. So it's very similar uh, to uh, League of Legends. It, it sort of, uh, you know, uh, Mo Mobile Legends was kind of the first uh, successful MOBA on mobile. And, and it pretty much lifted, reskinned, whatever you want to call it, uh, League of Legends. Um, and it's done. It's been very successful. So uh, Mobile Legends Bang Bang has done about a billion dollars of lifetime revenue. So that's over a number of years, but about a billion dollars of revenue. Um, and that is direct money. So that, that's people, that's players buying things in the game. Um, that's not advertising. So this is this kind of stuff is quite important um, for for Bite Dance uh, because there's only so many eyeballs um, you can continue to to um, attract. Now most people who are going to use TikTok are already using it. It has about 700 million uh, kind of uh, users. Um, so obviously it can get bigger. It can have you know, billions of users, I suppose, over time. But, but the, the real kind of core users are already using it and they're already using it pretty much as much as they can. So it's quite hard to expand that advertising money just by getting more users now. So now uh, Byte Dance has all, this, uh, has all this revenue and now it's thinking, what's the best way for us to use that revenue? What's the best way for us to make more profit? And the, and the key thing, obviously, for them is... Let's do mobile games. Mobile games are massive, you know, $70 billion of revenue a year. Very strong globally, also very strong in China. Um, and so they've made this big acquisition uh, by buying this existing uh, uh, you know, powerful uh, game, uh, mobile game brand um, that they now have access to. They can, they can probably do some weird integrations. They can probably kind of, kind of move uh, uh, audiences around. But it says here um, that uh, the company's going to operate independently. So it's not like ByteDance is going to integrate TikTok within... Uh, mobile legends at least in the, in the early stages this is basically they're just buying into into mobile and probably hoping that that moonton um, release some other really cool mobile games that make them a lot of money this is also interesting um that uh you know th there is a bidding war here so tencent uh um was already bidding for moonton as well so maybe one of the reasons that the price was so high was that tencent was offering money and then if bike dance really wanted it which they clearly did they were, had to offer more so again this just kind of shows that successful games Particularly successful mobile games are very valuable because they have large audiences. They also have um, the ability to directly monetize those audiences. Um, and obviously, you can once you have one successful game, you know, a company like Supercell will be a great example. Once you have one successful game, you can then you know attempt to to have other successful games and kind of take your audience with you. Um, and that's very valuable in the, in this world that is increasingly moving online. So so games are becoming more and more valuable. So that is the news for today. Thanks for uh, watching. Please subscribe to the channel and see you again soon.